Prior to the abrupt cancellation, the CDH board was hearing from Dr. David Peterman with Primary Health. He specializes in pediatrics and was telling the board about some of the changes that he and his patients have faced during the pandemic. Our Katia Stepovic spoke with the doctor earlier tonight. And Katia, what was the point the doctor was trying to drive home last night before the meeting was canceled? Well, he was talking about the overall impact that COVID-19 has on children. And while children tend to not suffer from as severe physical impacts of COVID-19, Dr. Peterman says it's the emotional and mental impacts that we need to be concerned about. If you have to socially isolate, um, you can't see your friends at school. Uh, there are limitations in terms of how you interact with your friends, play sports. That has a major impact on children. With COVID cases continuing to skyrocket, school districts across the Treasure Valley are responding by going fully remote during the holiday season. But Dr. David Peterman, CEO of Primary Health Medical Group Pediatrics, says the effects of remote learning on children are more severe than just struggling with class. I'm not sure I have seen so many children, and this would be younger and clearly teenagers, who I have seen who have anxiety and are depressed. While children aren't overloading the state with new cases, unfortunately, they too pay the price. If you increase the amount of coronavirus in the community, and we know if you don't wear a mask, it spreads like wildfire. If that happens, it has an effect on children attending school. It has an effect on the parents being able to do their work. It has an effect on the mental health of the children I treat. And we haven't even talked about the children I may not be able to see. Dr. Peterman says he has not had to turn away any patients just yet, but the constant increase of children and teens with mental health or behavioral issues as of late is a concern. And he agrees with Central District Health on how to fix it. The child is a child. We as a society need to nurture protect and support our children. And if that takes you wearing a mask and me wearing a mask, for goodness sakes, wear the mask. Now, CDH's proposed public health order says that if extra extracurricular and educational activities, inclu including athletics, will be allowed, but that if physical distancing of six feet or more are not able to occur, then a mask will be mandated. Now, still no update on when CDH plans to reconvene about this draft. Mark. All right, Katia Stepovic reporting live for us tonight. Katia, thanks. And along those lines, whether it's your own child or your mental health, we have resources available. Just click on the Hello Idaho tab on our website at KTVB.com.